All right, guys, trekking down through the woods towards the river. Snow is on the ground. It's November 20th, 3 p.m. And last night we had our first snowstorm of the season. And uh, right now I'm down below the mountain. I actually live up on top of the mountain. And uh, right now we have barely any snow on the ground, but you know, below the mountain. But up on top of the mountain where my house is, we have like six inches to almost a foot of snow. So it's kind of cool to see the difference in uh, snow levels just in a little bit of change of altitude. And I thought the river would be running a lot lower. It looks like it's almost at its regular pool level. You know, we haven't had much rain in town lately. It's been really, really low in, in most spots. So it's pretty cool to see that there's actually a good amount of water in the river. I'm gonna be fishing a bunch of different spots along this river here and uh, hopefully connect with some wild trout. And uh, there's a lot of wild brown trout in this river. And I'm gonna start up here and then probably work way down river at a bunch of other spots. These trout are really, really spooky. So you gotta make long casts and that's why I like to use a little trout rod, a little trout spinning rod with a little spinner, a little rooster tail spinner. Kind of cast in there and just jiggle the little spinner and try and find a fish. All right, I'm gonna start moving down river a little bit more. I don't have much daylight left, so I kind of want to run and gun and uh, try and catch some fish. This pool right here is usually a really, really good spot. You gotta crouch down and kind of sneak up on these fish though. Really, really spooky fish. Oh, there's a duck in here. Is that mallard duck? He might ruin it for me. All right, that duck didn't like take off, so hopefully he didn't spook any of the trout. There he's got him, got him. Oh, this nice little brownie. There we go, I got him. Gorgeous fish, absolutely gorgeous. Look at that pretty brown right there. Beautiful fish. That is how you do it right there. Absolutely gorgeous wild brown trout. Caught that fish on a 1 16th of an ounce gold rooster tail. And hopefully I can get a few more. Got a couple good spots coming up right now. I just gotta hop across the river so I get the best angle in this one pool right here. Whoa, almost got my foot wet right there. Might be one or two fish right here. Nothing. Right under this overhanging tree though, that looks pretty darn good. Really good. Nothing, not even a tap. Usually you get like a swipe or something. Nothing. There he is, fish on. 
Oh, we hit it on the drop too. That was pretty sick. Oh, we fell off. Quick release, that's all right. Try and get a bigger one. It was kind of funny, that trout really didn't even pull. When he initially hit it, I thought he was kind of just like a leaf hanging on there. I didn't even know, notice it was a trout really. There we go, that's the cast. It's gotta be something way up there. Oh, there was a good hit. Just missed a really solid hit. All right, so I came back to the same pool where I caught my first trout of the day. And, uh, you know, I went down river, I went back up river, and, uh, you know, all I could find was that one other trout that, you know, fell off right, you know, right at, right at my feet when it was jumping out of the water. This will probably be my last spot, and then I'm gonna head to a different river. All right, made it to river number two. Right here at this spot, I've caught one of my largest wild brown trout out of. Hopefully there's a few here today. I'm starting to lose daylight. So hopefully I can pull off at least one or two more trout before it gets dark. There he's got one. Whoa, right in the net. I'm gonna bring this fish up to this little pond right here. Put him in the water. Wet my hands a little bit. Real nice, pretty, wild brown trout right there. Very similar looking to the first brown trout that I caught of the day. Very similar. I'm gonna throw him back in the river, get him back on his way. See you later, little buddy. Pretty fish. All right, so I came down river from that dam where I caught that last little wild brown trout. And I was really surprised I was only able to pull one fish out of that big pool below that dam there's probably more fish there but they you know they probably weren't actively feeding and i definitely wanted to hit this spot so i didn't want to spend too much time there just had a hit just had a really good hit hopefully i didn't tag him too too bad I can get him to hit it again there he is got him oh he got off I don't know what that was that's two hits right here in this pool very slim chance I'll be able to get him again ah well I had my shot I had two hits cast after cast and now it seems like I can't get any bite. There was probably a couple trout here and they hit it quick and I missed them and that's it. You know, you get one shot usually at each trout or, you know, one fish and then you have to wait a little bit until these fish calm down. But I really can't wait because I'm running out of daylight. But uh, at least I got out for a couple hours and uh, tried to catch some wild trout, caught a couple wild brown trout, lost a couple wild brown trout. But uh, all in all, on this chilly November day, it definitely was a success in my book. Wouldn't have rather spent my time doing something else. I love coming out here and uh, hiking through the trees, hiking through the woods, and uh, doing a little trout fishing. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And never forget, live to fish, fish to live, and I'll see you guys out on the water.